there have been fears in the West that Russia was planning to invade Ukraine. President Putin denied planning an invasion. Vladimir Putin told a news conference Russia, of course, did not want war. But he has written publicly about how he sees Russians and Ukrainians as one people. Corona gave us a fucked up time. Growing up in Northern Germany, I had a fairly privileged life. No need to care about whether there will be food on the table, where to sleep at the end of the day, with the freedom to move about wherever I wanted, even across borders. I think it's only now that we've realized how lucky and privileged we've actually been. Sadly, we have seen many wars and conflicts happening around the world in recent years, all of which were painful and devastating. But this one is different to many of us, especially here in Europe. It is too close not to feel the consequences, too close not to care, and too close not to take action. Now, uh, Russia's invasion of Ukraine has obviously sent shockwaves, including Finland. Uh, and uh, Finland itself was invaded by the Soviet Union during the Second World War. Uh, and now, for the first time in the country's history, public opinion has shifted towards the country favoring joining NATO. And that's despite President Putin's threat of military and political consequences. It is great to see how many and how quickly people came together to donate, to organize and to help the people in need, or even volunteer to defend Ukraine and their people against this invasion. My fiancé and I too have made a small contribution in form of warm hats, socks, mittens, some food and medicine. But with all that being said, there are some lives worth saving as well, which often get forgotten not just in these extreme situations, but in general. As a person passionate about animal well-being and being vegan for 10 years, almost to this day now, I decided to donate a portion of my revenue for the next couple of months to the organization U Animals. U Animals is a Ukrainian animal rights organization aiming to help animals in need, especially in these horrific times of war, providing shelter, food and medicine. And they have been active for more than a decade now, I believe. And this is just what feels right to me. But if you're one of those privileged individuals, and let's be honest, since you're watching a video on a YouTube channel that is about freaking motion design and filmmaking, chances are that you are as well. Think about ways you can contribute, be it clothing, medicine, blankets. There are so many ways you can help and so many organizations to support. Try to make a difference in whichever way possible to you, even if it is small. Let's stand together. Let's stand with Ukraine.